Um, I met Rin, um, I had a friend, Michael Berenswag, who um, had read uh, Food for the Gods, Vegetarianism and the World's Religions, and he kept saying, Nancy, you have to read this book. My name is Nancy Kogel. You have to read this book. It's great. And I finally, not being a big reader, I finally spent months reading it and was very impressed <laughs> with it. And we got a radio show on WBAI about speciesism and animal rights. And um, we decided to have Rin on to interview him. And of course, uh, we interviewed him. It took hours and hours because there was so much um, information that he had about that book specifically, but many other topics. And my friend Michael was like, oh, you know, I've called up Rin and I've spoken to him. He said, sure. And I was like, for me, Rin was kind of like this unapproachable person because he wrote this amazing book and I, I felt very like in awe. But meeting him, and he was so cordial and so easy to work with, and he was, yeah, sure, interview, yeah, when, you know, it's very, yeah, and, and just as, as just somebody, just a friend, somebody you want to just talk to. So, um, of course, we edited that two or three hour interview down to two hours, and um, his main thing, his main thesis was that Jesus, that I remember like being really focusing on, was that Jesus was an animal liberationist, that he had come to planet Earth to liberate animals. And it was so like kind of like, whoa, <laughs> out there that um, I, you know, it's like I was wondering how the, the audience, um, the radio audience really liked it, is what I heard. Um, and um, I'm making a film, and I was really looking forward to interviewing oh, you no. for the film. Rin, <laughs> back too soon. Um, specifically so about a book that's um, that's uh, Caesar's Messiah, the Roman conspiracy to invent Jesus. That says that there was no Jesus, or Jesus was Lazarus. And I wanted to have a nice tete a tete with Rin, and kind of like a devil's advocate kind of thing, um, but he left too soon. Um, and I would bump into him in the streets of, of the East Village all the time and always surprised that he would deign to stop and talk to me. And he was always just so friendly and gave me his, his guidebook. So thank you for being you, Ian. Thank you.